Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. This is Jesse here with another video and today we have an unboxing from Dooney & Burke. Stay tuned. So I'm kind of new to Dooney & Burke, at least purchasing their products. I obviously know Dooney & Burke is a brand, but I kind of um, got addicted ever since I purchased the Florentine satchels. And I started looking at the I Love Dooney website, which I have here. And I don't know what the difference is between I Love Dooney and Dooney and & Burke, like their regular website. If you know, can you please comment below? So I'm already thinking like, is it an outlet? Is I Love Dooney an outlet website where things are probably made of lesser quality materials? Although Dooney & Burke is, is known for the outstanding quality. Um, what, what's the difference? How can, I don't know how something can be one price point on one website and another price point on another. And it's the same exact product and they both claim to be genuine um if you know please let me know because i'm trying to wrap my head around that here is the item here's how it came in the box this is the first time i'm looking at this i have my packing slip and my receipt in here and i have the box so let's get rid of that and i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it right now i'm excited this is not a bag. It is a continental wallet. I have been using the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet for the longest. It's a, a compact wallet that carries cash, card, and coin. But I've been wanting a continental wallet for some time. And I found this one on I Love Dooney for, I believe, $79. They were having a sale. And this is it right here. Sorry, <laughs> take all the paper off, okay. And my first impression, my immediate first impression is that this thing is massive. It, it's very large. It almost looks like a clutch, which they're referring to it on the website as a fold over wallet. So I looked at the pictures and I thought it was gonna be a little bit slimmer than this. It's pretty, it's pretty big. I like the color. Is this real ostrich leather? Let's see here. This is pebbled leather. So I guess it's kind of treated so that it looks like ostrich. There's a close up of it right there. The stitching is like in a, in a lighter color. It has this here, this back slip pocket then this pocket here is for whatever you need it to be bills coins it has a red lined interior which is made of like a canvas and then it has one two three four five six seven eight um credit card slips with the last one having, you know, the ID one that has the window here. And then it has, oh, it has more. It has more credit card slots there. So that's a total of six. Six additional slots in here. Then you have this pocket that's expandable. Like that. And then you have another... Then you have another zippered compartment, and this is just the um, the paperwork to get it registered. And then here is the tag. It says on the website that it retails for $178, and right now it's at $106, but I paid $70 something dollars for it. I think it's way too large and like squishy. You see that? How it, like it's it's I don't know how to explain this on camera but I mean the leather feels very nice and soft but it does not have a slim profile whatsoever and it's very it's very squishy <laughs> I mean it's beautiful but I don't know what are your thoughts should I keep it or should I take it back
let me know what you think um, and let me know if you have any recommendations for long continental wallets that are slimmer. I was looking at the Louis Vuitton slim purse, but I don't like the fact that all my credit cards, if, if you've seen that, um, that wallet before, all of your credit cards, I'll insert a picture of it, all your credit cards kind of like hang out in the back and they're exposed. If they were to have something like that where your credit cards are not exposed, it would be the perfect scenario. It's beautiful. I just don't think it's, I don't think it fits me. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for any slim continental wallets, please, I would appreciate it. And if you also happen to know the difference between ilovedooney.com and the main Dooney and Brick website, please let me know. I'm really curious about that. I hope this was informative and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.